Well, the kid's gone acting crazy about 17. He's all full of wisdom, vinegar man, and he's out there on the scene. I can only hope he remembers wrong from right. Cause it's a real rough ride for a lonesome guy in the beginning of his lifetime of those long and really cold hard winters. Snow so deep, hard as chilly blue. And kids, well, they don't know about snow. How deep enough, you pile long enough, when it's deep, they're gonna know. Well, the cook stove's holding last night's beans. I'm eating from the can again, cause that's the way I've always been. It's another barley breakfast for God's own drunk. It's a real rough ride for a lonesome guy in the middle of the month of March. And man, it's been a really long, hard winter. Snow so deep, hard as Good morning, Judy. What do you think about the snow? Oh, yeah. You think it's a bunch of baloney? Bunch of malarkey? Comes one of the Morans. These guys are laying fools, aren't ya? Yeah, now that you're laying, look at those feathered feet. How cute. You're such a pretty bird. You are too, Judy, don't worry. You're pretty too. <laughs> oh, there's Yeti, keeping watch. Going, who's pretty around here? Did you say it was me? You're a pretty boy, Yed. Here they come. What do you guys want? Looking for treats, aren't ya? I already gave you treats this morning. Crazy little buggers. I don't know if you guys can see. They love hanging out under the deck. And it's a nice long deck. I can't remember how long, but it's really long goes the whole house and underneath are um, icicles hanging down pretty cool it's a little icy under there I see but there is some spots without ice so so what are you guys up to today huh what are you up to today girl what what are you doing huh what are you doing you guys are all looking good. Good and healthy. And this girl. Look at her. There's snow on the ground, but they'd rather eat it off my boot. Ugh. They're crazy. Crazy little chicken. Somebody's complaining. Somebody's complaining. They like to do that. Alright, so I just got done cleaning off the coverets, that's the Twinkie I call it, or we call it, and then the solar panels. There's no sun, but we'll get a little bit of, a little bit of something out of it. And then I cleaned off the roof of their run over on the end of the solar panels over there. It's still snowing and it's supposed to have snow flurries all day, so uh, I didn't do a super duper job because I'll have to come out again, I'm sure. Looks like I'm gonna have to put a coat of paint on that thing. It's getting pretty nasty. I'll have to paint her. Paint her up this spring, another project. Along with my garden fencing. I'm gonna need all new garden fencing. And or at least new poles, because he's probably snapped right off in the ground. They weren't meant to last. But I'm thinking that I'm just going to extend it out even further. I want to be able to get over here, because this is where I keep all my junk. My, my extra um, wire, fencing, and I don't know. There's stuff over there that I use on occasion. 
It's got the deer stand. I don't even know if that's any good anymore. We should put it up somewhere, but it started to rot when we moved, I think. So, I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, so going to have to extend this out. I keep looking at past videos of when it was nice and green and full of vegetables out here and my granddaughter out here every time she came over would come running over and and want to go to the garden <laughs> Grammy let's go to the garden and she'd come in and she'd pick the cherry tomatoes right off the plant that's exactly what I wanted that's what I envisioned in my mind my little granddaughter coming over and just picking veg veggies right out of the garden but I think I would like to start some uh, strawberries. I've never grown strawberries before. So I'm thinking I want to do a little strawberry patch in here somewhere. So that's why I want to extend it out and um, put some more beds and stuff. So it's going to be some work this spring, but if I could start it now, I would, but we're covered in snow. Snow and ice and frozen, so I guess it ain't happening. Or it isn't happening. Oh, <laughs> uh, well. Yeah, that's something. When your granddaughter can come over and say, I want to go to the garden. And then uh, her parents um, this spring want to put in their own little garden. Not anything big, because they work full time, both of them. Um, they work a lot, but... When they're home, they want to be able to do the same. Bring their daughter out and let her play around in the garden. There's no better way to get a kid started in loving the outdoors and loving gardening and eating the right stuff than to get them gardening, get them outside. So I'm excited that my daughter wants to do that and I'm going to help her any way I can. We're going to build some raised beds and probably be a little bit smaller than this but uh, to start out with you know you just start small and then work up to what you can handle so it's pretty exciting it's really pretty here today though we got like I said about three inches of snow and uh, it's really snow is just sitting on the branches really pretty but a little fake birdhouse. I don't think any birds would live in there. If they do, good. I mean, but the panel's all cleaned off. Like I said, we're not going to get a lot from them today because the sun's not in, but we'll get, I mean, out, but we'll get something. I miss the green. I miss the green, but we'll get it. It'll come. This time of year is always hard for me. I always want to hurry it up and start gardening. So. So when I get up in the morning, I clean off their little deck out here. And then I kind of scrape away or shovel depending on the snow. A little path to under the deck so they can go from one place to the other without going in the deep snow they don't like the snow you don't like the snow do you girl that's a little diva look at that tail she thinks she's a diva yep <laughs> that's Hedwig <laughs> Hedwig's up on the roost, and she's looking down at you. She looks like Hedwig the owl from Harry Potter. <laughs> she's all puffed up. What's going on? Yeti, I see you peeking through the doorway. I see you peeking. You coming out? All right, he says. Let's see what this says, what the temperature is. See if we can tell. Yeah, it's almost 30. It's about 28 degrees. Can you see the little line there? Right in there. 
There it is. It's a better shot. So it's almost 30 degrees here. Feels really good because it's been really cold. So that's pretty good. I'm gonna wait till later and Scott's probably gonna up on the tractor and scrape off the driveway what he can. We try to keep the hill cleaned off so the sun gets to it when it comes out, which is supposed to come out tomorrow. We should be able to clean it off some so that when the sun hits it, it will melt and go down to dirt instead of ice. So, one last shot of everything. And I'm going to go clean the coop. Pretty day. Almost 30. Yesterday was really warm. It was above, I don't know, it was above 30. It was like, must have been right around 32, 33 yesterday. So some of the snow was, and ice was melting. But then we got snow overnight and it looks like this. But it's winter. That's what happens. All right, well, anyway, guys, thanks for hanging out with me for a little bit and uh, letting me show you around and dream about my my green garden. <laughs> so we'll talk to you later, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll and see you next time. Know all about snow. About deep enough, about long enough. When it's deep, that's why they know. Well, I will lay me down now. I'm just tired I've had this shovel around the whole damn world I walked a real live, real live wire And I have laughed